Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. It's the last week in August, you guys. Um, yeah, August 23rd through the 29th. We're going to do the eyes today, which I've been cheating and just kind of making up eyes for some of my hand lettering quotes, because I just... I feel like if I use I as in me, I, I have to use a capital I, so I've just kind of been making it up. So I'm glad we're finally learning I. I also wanted to let you guys know that on August 17th, I went ahead and posted the Big Love Letters words for September, and I'm so excited about September, you guys. I'm always excited when there's something we can clearly, clearly use, will use in our planners. And so we get M and J this week, which I try to stick to four or five, three to five letters in our words. So guys, July and June, we're going to practice in September, and May, of course, is three, and then March. So that's probably, we already did A, and I didn't think to put April on there, but everything else is pretty long, so I don't plan on putting them on there. But um, we got four months to practice in September. So um, go ahead and look on my Instagram account, my Facebook, JLB Crafts. Um, and get that downloaded so that you're ready to go for September. So I can't believe, yes, September. Okay, so I looked back through my last couple of weeks and I've been using a lot of blue. Um, September will be transitioning over to fall colors. I won't be able to resist fall colors in September. So I thought I should use some nice bright pinky red colors. So I'm going to go with... Um, a, an older Live Love Posh book, The Posh Blooms and Icons. I like her books because the stickers are paper. Um, there's a time and a place for plastic, the clear stickers, but for this book I like paper because um, I can write on them a little bit if I need to. So, so I'm going to use these. I still have both pages of these. I've never used them. Um, and the reason I'm going to use them is because during my blues and greens and purples of the last few weeks, I haven't really, I've tried to just ignore the orange lines. And so I feel like these can kind of tie into the oranges a little bit. And then I'm probably going to stick to like the hot pinks and the pe peaches um, and the pinks and then just throw one green pen in there. So anyway, these are the... Um, florals I'm going to use. Oh, and I'm going to do something different. Instead of doing boxes, since they're always big and they come, kind of come into this second row, I'm just going to use a mild liner. I'm going to use green since I have orange um, and just make a kind of a swishy to write my assignment in and that way I won't have to worry about bumping into a sticker. So I'm going to get started. Um, enjoy the music. I'm just going to go ahead and do my normal kind of go down the middle and we'll go from there. So here we go. I think I'll go ahead and use this um, Simply Gilded pinky kind of Simply Gilded washi tape along the edges too, just because I'm, I'm using up all my small florals um, and I still need to put some up here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and put this along the edges, I think. It's really nice. It's got silver and kind of a hot pink foil on it, which is pretty cool. It's not something you see very often. So it's going to clash, clash with the orange, but I don't care. Just trying to decide which way I want the foil to go. I think I want it to go to the outside edge. Don't pull it too tight. You don't want your page to start curling on you. Okay, it's time to trim and punch. Didn't cut that very straight. Next, I'm going to use my Sharpie, like I said, to do a little squiggle for my assignment boxes. There we go. 
no bleed through. Mild liners, I think I said Sharpie. This is a mild liner. Um, mild liners rarely bleed through, so. All right, next, uh, let's grab my Micron and go ahead and write in the assignments. So, Monday the 23rd is, of course, capital I. And if you aren't sure if your um, highlighter, whatever brand you're using, is going to smear your pen, highlight first and then write over the highlighting. That always ensures that you won't get any bleeding or smearing. Tuesday is itch. Wednesday is idea, which is another word I thought maybe we could end up using in our planners. An ibex is an animal, but it gave us an X. Iffy, as in that's pretty iffy. I'm not too sure about that. Imps, it's coming up on Halloween. So yes, I saw. I actually saw Halloween candy in the store the other day. I was shocked. And icon. Okay, so I am going to pick my pens and zoom in, and then we'll get started on the eye. So here are the pens I've chosen to go with. I have the pink Fudenosuke, which I just found Amazon started carrying a five or six pack of additional colors in the Fudenosukes. They're a neon though, and I don't think most of them would show up on camera. So, but I did, I did order them and add them to my collection, um, but none of them matched for what I wanted to do today. So um, kind of a hot pink Fudenosuke, the pink, zebra which looks slightly different you'll see here in a minute a lime green um pentel touch brush sign pen to pick up the green that's my one green and then i have a kind of a peachier pink um le pen so that's the order i'm going to use them into so let's get started with the ace drills Definitely in order from stiffest to um, softest, although even the softest one has good bounce back. So, all right, so letter I. Boy, it's hard for you guys to see. Um, okay, so they're just, it looks like they're starting here, doing a little bit of a light out. My gosh, let me try to adjust the light so you can see that a little better. That help at all I made it a little darker so it's not all washed out there we go okay so they're starting kind of it looks like in the center come and light out light up heavy down and ending with a little light up so that's not bad I could I could do that that's that little crossbar there reminds me a little bit of the capital F all right so the free download Tombow Fudenosuke calligraphy pen pages show something kind of similar. Starting here, we got a light up in, or a little bit of a light jog, kind of the opposite of the ending of a V or a W. And they're going a little bit fatter. You can see the heavy down, light up, heavy down, light up. And they're, of course, not slanting because they don't slant any of theirs, but you definitely can tell they're doing a, a heavy down right here in the beginning of the stroke versus uh, over here. Okay, and then let's check the um, Walmart calligraphy book. I will probably, if I go with one of these, not worry about letting this be a heavy down just because I want the muscle memory to stay um, the same in, in my writing. And we're used to heavy down, so... 
G-H-I. Okay, wow, this is quite a bit different. They're coming, they're just doing light up, heavy down. Um, and I know these are mostly what I've been going with, um, but I don't, I don't really care for that. That looks like a number one to me and not a capital I. All right, let's see if they have an alternate. Here we go. So they're doing an old school, kind of like our Z, light across, heavy down, light across. And they're, it looks like they're starting, they're saying start with your heavy down and then do your two light acrosses. Obviously looks very much like an I, but doesn't look slightly fancy like I'm liking. So I think I'm gonna probably go for the first time in a really long time, maybe ever, I'm going to go ahead and do something along these lines, I think. So let's see how that looks, see if I like that. All right, so I'm going to start with the Fudenosuke. And they are starting well, well, well below center line. Like, I would say 75% of the way down they're starting. So... Heavy down, light up, heavy down, and up. It looks like an eye. I kinda, I think um, the thing that I'm not liking is how low it's starting. See, there's this one, the Fudenosuke, they're starting more up closer to the midline. I think I like that better. So I've been kind of curving this little starter tail. I've kind of been curving it up and I think I want to maybe play with not curving it. I don't like when this gets fat and when I was trying to keep that straight, it was seeming to make it even fatter. So I think I'll keep with either a slant or a curve. I also think um, it looks better when I try to make this curve on the left and the right the same um, size. Like here's a fat and a skinny and I don't like it as well as these two that are more even. Okay, so let's try itch. So we have an ascender right next to the capital I. Definitely helps to give you room to cross your T if this is nice and wide and matches that side. That one got really fat somehow. <laughs> It's really hard to figure out exactly how much space to leave between the I and the T for itch. Okay, let's try an idea. That's another one we could write in our, our plan planners. So I can see now slant of the I and the D 
you're gonna have to be careful to get those to match. It was a little easier with the T and the H, but the D could, could be off as you come down to try to connect to the oval stroke, at least for me. Yep, definitely struggling getting consistency between the I and the D. So I was trying to make the top of my D a little narrower, a little skinnier. And I think that's helping with the consistency a little bit. It was getting kind of fat. Same thing with the H as I'm looking back now. Okay, Ibex. So let's do the B right next to the I and see how that goes. Same thing, I can already see. Try not to make that too fat, I think, for me. Squeeze that one in there. <laughs> I did this one without the little tail thing, because I just, I don't like how pointy that is. It doesn't feel like it fits with the rest of my lettering style. So I'm gonna play with that for a little bit. I think I'm liking that better. Where I don't do the little hook and I start down lower. I like the color scheme. All right, iffy. Descender time. Interesting. <laughs> it's th it threw me off the how high to make my F's. <laughs> and again, I hate F's and I especially hate double F's. So sorry for that guys. <laughs> this is just not gonna fit. <laughs> I think I probably should have just gone every other line on this one. Um, something you guys might want to consider when you do your practice. It's just, you won't be able to write iffy as often, but it's a double F anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I think I might call this one. Mel just put some eyes in here. It's just very, very distracting. All right. Let's try imps.
So I'm not gonna skip lines because there's less to dodge on this one. but not least icon I don't know if we'd ever use the word icon a lot of us use icons in our planners no ascenders or descenders on this one The trick on this one is figuring out where to start the C. Either my arm is getting tired or the Pentel touch is getting even softer because it's getting a lot harder here toward the end to get nice thin upstrokes. I feel like the Le Pen Flex is just as soft as the Pentel Touch, but it bounces back a little better so that it's easier to get the light, thin upstrokes. There we go. Okay. Big color change. <laughs> Big departure from last week. So, there we go. There is my capital I practice for the last week in August. I hope you like this video. I hope you're still in practicing. I hope you have better luck with your eye than I did. I'm, I'm not convinced it's exactly where I want it to be, but I definitely like much more where it ended up than where it started. So, and that's, that's why we practice, right? So I hope you like this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.